Hey guys, welcome. My name is Felicia. I have a Jiva Mukti twist sequence for you today. If you uh, want to practice with music, I have my Spotify link down below in the description box to a playlist that you can use. Also make sure if you need any props, take them to your mat. If you want to deepen your practice, check out the link to my website where I created a full media library for you to practice 60 to 75 minute Jiva Mukti open classes. And comment down below any questions, any requests you have. Like and subscribe the channel and the video. And let's go. Let's begin standing. Find a wide stand further than hip width. Bend your knees and begin to swing left and right. Arms are super relaxed, swinging with you. If it's possible, bring the gaze with that swinging motion over your shoulder. Or keep your gaze forward and steady so you don't get dizzy. And just make that movement really big and then slowing down. Make the movement smaller and smaller and smaller and then coming back to center. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Take your right wrist, step the right foot behind the left and lean to the left side. Breathing in, breathe out, lean a little bit further. Inhale, come to center, change sides. Take the left wrist, left foot steps behind the right and lean. Breathing. Come back to center, release the arms by your side. Come to step at the front of your mat in Tadasana. Breathing in, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up and arch back. Jiva Mukti Sun Salutations. Exhale, bend the knees, swing forward, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, the hands down, step the right foot back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, left foot next to right, fold forward. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, bend the knees, swing forward, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, release the hands down, step the left foot back to a lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly forward, plank, engage your core. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly forward into plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, lift the gaze, low lunge. Exhale, right foot next to left, fold down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, bend knees, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up, arch back. Exhale, come to stand in Tadasana. Inhale, bend your knees deeply, lift the gaze, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, prepare to jump. Exhale, walkward jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, lift up, warrior one. Exhale. Hands down, Chaturanga. Keep the gaze forward as you lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, right heel down. Warrior one, gaze up. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Breathe in, stay here. Breathe out one. Ujjayi breath, hear the sound of your breathing. In. Exhale to engage Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor muscles engaged. Breathing in. Breathe out for three. Keep breathing and relax your neck. Feel the breath, hear the sound of your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lift the gaze. Inhale, walk or jump forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Sit low, Utkatasana, breathe in, lift your arms, lift your gaze. Exhale, hands to the heart, twist to the right side. Hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee and sit a little bit lower. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out for three. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart, twist to the left side. Inhale, into the chest. Exhale, deepening the twist. Inhale. Exhale, two, sit low in your seat. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, come back to center, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands down to your feet, fold over your legs. Walk your feet further back, your hands further forward. Press your hands down, shift weight. As you bend your elbows, place your knees onto your upper arms. Lift so much weight into your hands that one foot or both feet lift up, balancing on your hands in crow pose. Engage Mula Bandha, lift your hips really high. And exhale, step back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, lift up into warrior one. Exhale, open arms and chest, warrior two. Inhale, extend the right leg, reach forward. Exhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Gaze up into the left hand. Exhale, right hand connected to your right shin or big toe. Breathing in, breathing out. Lengthen the spine, the crown of the head is reaching forward. Right hip moves underneath the left hip. Gaze down to your right foot. Inhale, press up to stand. Exhale, bend the right knee, widen the step. Place the right hand down, left hand down, and shorten the stance from the back. Square the hips, extend the legs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. Your hands can always be on blocks. Lifting the ground higher up towards you is amazing. Try to have the connection to the earth in a steady and stable way. If that means using blocks, that's perfect. Lift the gaze. Place the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Use your blocks here. Right hand to the sacrum. Lift the gaze. Press down through the left hand and extend the right arm up. Twist the triangle. Breathing in. Breathing out. We try to keep this hip square. Breathe in. Breathing out into the twist. Inhale. Exhale, keep the neck long. Gaze down, hand back to your sacrum. Release both hands down, shift weight forward into your hands. Lift your left leg up and lengthen the spine. Exhale for standing split, fold forward. 
Walk your fingertips in line with your toes. Optionally, take your right hand to your right calf or around your leg to your left arm. Breathing. Breathe out. If your hand was at your leg, release the hand down. Bend your top leg. Open the hip. Exhale, spiral all the way down to sit. Left knee on the outside of the right foot. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right side. You can always sit on a block, lifting the seat up or extending the bottom leg for a tall seat. Inhale. Exhale, deepening the twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Look to your right side and place your hands down, fingers pointing to the long edge of your mat. Lift your hips up, bend your elbows, and bring your right thigh onto your both of your elbows. Shift so much weight that maybe your feet lift off the ground and maybe you extend the legs apart into a side crow. Very nice. Just try it out. If you're up, we come down the same way we came up. Back into seated spinal twist. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, counter rotate to the left. Inhale to center, swing the right leg back. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift wide forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, lift up into warrior one. Exhale, open arms and chest, warrior two. Inhale, extend the left leg, reach forward. Trikonasana, hand to shin bone, gaze up. Breathe in. Breathe out, one. Inhale, lengthen the spine, crown of the head reaching away. Two. Breathe into your chest, hear your breath. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, gaze down. Lift up with your inhalation. Exhale, bend your front knee. Place both hands down and make the steps smaller from the back. Extended legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pashvottanasana. Relax your neck. If you use blocks here on the other side, take your blocks. Breathing. Hearing the sound of your breath. Inhale, exhale, lift the gaze, place the right hand to the outside of the left foot, maybe on your block, left hand to the lower back, open the chest, gaze up, extend your left arm, twist the triangle, exhale, feel your back foot and push your back foot, the outer edge of that foot, down to the ground. So you keep weight in your back foot. And from that place, open the chest even more. Yes. Gaze down. Hand to the sacrum. Release both hands down. Shift weight forward. Walk your hands forward. Lengthen the spine. Back leg lifts. Exhale, fold over your leg. Optionally, holding the left hand to the left calf or right arm. Standing split means you're pushing down through your standing leg and lifting out of the top leg, reaching apart through both legs. Inhale, bend your top knee, both hands down, open the hip. And exhale, spiral all the way down, right knee to the outside of the left foot. Come to sit. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left side. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Inhale, lengthen the spine. 
exhale. The back hand helps you to lengthen with each inhalation and deepening with each exhalation. We're coming into a side crow again. You come onto your hands, fingers pointing away from you. Lift your hips. Bend both elbows. Very important. Lift the hips onto your back elbow. It gives you much more stability. If you have a lot of strength, you can keep the hip lifted away from your elbow. Top leg extends. Bottom leg extends. Good. If you're up, come down the same way we came into the pose, into our twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, counter, rotate. Inhale, come back to center. Swing the leg back. Exhale, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose. Exhale, release the forehead down. Close your legs completely, if possible. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift everything. Shalabhasana. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out too. If your legs can't be closed, open them hip width apart. Three. Breathe in. Four. Inhale. Exhale, release down. One cheek down. Relax your hips from side to side. Lengthen the tailbone. Extend one arm overhead and roll onto your back, bending your knees. Place the feet close to your hips, hip width apart this time. For a half wheel, push down into your feet. Lift the lower back, middle back, upper back. All the way onto your shoulders, interlace your hands underneath your hips. Push the feet down and away from you to open the sternum towards the chin. And lifting the chin slightly up towards the ceiling so your spine at the neck is long. Pressing down into the feet. Half wheel practice. Release your hands and roll down vertebra by vertebra. Let the knees touch for a moment. Bring your hands together, thumbs between your eyebrows. And breathe. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Pull your knees into your chest. Roll from side to side. Massage the back down. For a twist, wrap the right leg around the left leg once or twice, hips to the right, knees to the left, arms to shoulder height, gaze into the right hand. Make sure your knees are on the floor. If they're not on the floor, take a cushion underneath or a block. The right shoulder can totally be up in the air and just with your breath, every exhalation your shoulder can sink down a little more. Breathing in, breathing out. Gently come back to center. Change your legs, left leg around your right leg. Hips to the left, knees to the right, gaze to the left hand. Your left shoulder relaxes with each exhalation down towards the ground. After your next exhalation, come back to center. Unwrap your legs, pull your knees into your chest. Squeeze the legs in forehead to knees, roll up and down along the spine two, three times. Inhale, up, exhale, back. And then take your meditation cushion, 
or your block, anything that you can use underneath your hips. Lay back down, lift your hips and place your hips onto that little cushion or block, extending one leg after the other up for our inversion practice today, Viparita Karani. Your hips are relaxed and supported. Your hands may be on your belly or by your side. Bend your knees slightly, just a little bit, so your belly relaxes. If you have your hands on your belly, you can gently feel that once your knees are bent, your belly is a little softer. That's what we want. Feel the breath in your hands, in your belly. In your chest, gentle, equal breath. In and out. In and out. Bend your knees, place one foot down and the other, take the cushion or block to the side, hips down, feet together, open the knees to the side, Supta Baddha Konasana. And take a deep breath in here through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale through the mouth out. You can repeat that one more time, two more times. Letting go of the restriction of the breath. Letting go of the sound of the breath. And when you're ready, close your knees. Let them touch for a moment. And for Shavasana, extend your legs. If you want to cover yourself with a blanket, please do that here. And now, arms by your side, palms facing up. Giving yourself this moment of rest. Your feet relaxed and falling apart. Your hips relaxed. Sinking into the earth. Your shoulders relaxed. Feel the point between your eyebrows. And relax that space as well. Behind your forehead. Relaxed. Feel your whole body relaxing into the earth. Begin to move your fingers and toes, hands and feet. Extend your arms overhead. Bend your knees, roll onto your right side.
push the left hand down, lift up to sit. Find a comfortable seat, tall spine, hands to the heart. Bow down to your heart, to your hands. Thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next one.